up everybody and I am going to be showing you guys how to make a lot of money or you know just a good amount of dinero in GTA 5 so I am I am a beginner I am not a long-term player and I will be talking about the ways that I've gotten money which will help beginners because I've been looking through the web asking friends asking people of all sorts on how to make you know some money in this game on GTA online that you know doesn't have to do with much grinding or it does but it's a it's a good it's a good source and I will be sharing those things today so what I'm first gonna mention is the enterprise pack which I got with the bundle with the um, GTA 5 and the you in the enterprise pack you can get the bunker you can get a counterfeit cash factory you can get free cars free weapons you get a free CEO you can be a CEO at a business you get a ton of things but I'm gonna be talking more about that but I'm just telling you guys cause I'm going to the bunker right now but I had a little bit of an advantage over, because probably most of you aren't probably going to be watching this video about now, because we had a double, double EXP and um, money boost, so they gave me an advantage, but, so, what you guys want to be looking for, here, let me pause right here for a second, what you guys want to be looking for on GTA 5 is these, the time trials. These things give you a ton of money. They seriously do. If you complete a race in like two minutes, you can get up to like 20 grand. I mean, that's pretty good. In 10 minutes, you can get 100 grand. Like seriously. 10 minutes, you can make $100,000. It's a pretty good way, but I don't know this time trial myself. I just know that they give you 20 grand about. Because double EXP was on and it gave you 42,000 for a one time trial that was over here so I'm guessing this one gives you a range around 20,000 and you can probably look up a, a walkthrough on YouTube and see the various time trials because there's a new one each week so you could see what you can do about that so I mean that's just I think that's a great source just me um but uh let me shut up Tony um <laughs> so about the bunker what you do in the bunker is that it's basically where you make weapons and research stuff and you can sell the weapons for money you can either buy the supplies and um sell them or you can buy the supplies research or you can steal supplies which don't give you as much supplies but it gives you a significant amount and you can make supplies so you make a hundred percent profit but what I do is that you can buy upgrades in your bunker and I bought the second upgrade so it was like three hundred something thousand dollars and three hundred eighty one I think I'm don't quote me on that I'm not sure but it's three hundred something thousand dollars and you get a twenty five percent boost I'm pretty sure so if I buy supplies at seventy five thousand dollars and if I only because you can put it on manufacturing or research or both but I put it s specifically on manufacturing I make a $15,000 profit by buying supplies that's just me I mean that's pretty bad but I mean it's still something you still end up with something and stealing supplies is a pain in the butt so I just try to buy supplies and sell them and um, I think it's a pretty good way. But I'm just saying, guys, the Enterprise Pack is a great start off because I forgot to mention um, the the bundle that I got with GTA 5. It gave me a million, so I think it gives you one point one and a quarter of a million dollars, so 1.25 million dollars. Everything plus that, and I'll be going over. I'll be going over the businesses. I'll try to go over everything. I'll try to go through a walkthrough. And the one thing I do not have, because when you start, you can start a business. I'm not going to close my business to show you guys, but I'll just, you know, talk about it from what I remember. 
So you can become a CEO of a business after you buy the Enterprise Pack. And when you become CEO of the business, you can either go into drugs, crates, or you can go into breaking in cars, driving them to your garage, then selling them for a profit. I, I'm not in the um, drug crate place because I thought cars would be better because you have to buy a bunch of stuff with the cars. But if you're buying the Enterprise Pack, I suggest the um, drugs because it's a lot more cheaper. And my friend says you get a lot of money from it. And it's a lot more quicker, so I suggest that. Or you can go into cars, so you can pick either one of those. Which is pretty cool. You get to name your organization, whatever. You know, it's pretty cool. You get a motorcycle club. That's pretty cool. You can do missions inside the motorcycle club, too. I haven't done any, but I'll show you guys. So, this is the bunker. As you can see in the bottom right, I haven't really done crap. Because I, um... I've been trying to get into the motorcycle club counterfeit factory, that's why. Even though you can do both at the same time, but I just bought my armor and Karuma, so I'm pretty happy about that, but that's why I haven't been doing things but here. So, you have to be a CEO of an organization, and you ha to only do these things, you have to be in a public server. I am in a public server, I believe, by myself. Yep, I am by myself. So... Um, and to become a CEO, you have to register at the company. I just talked about the cars, the drugs, or whatever, and then you come down here to zero serve, register as CEO, and there you go, become a CEO. Then you go over to your computer, you know, sit down, relax, get the laptop, and you can resupply, which you can buy supplies or steal supplies. You can research, which is this, but I don't research. I, um, see, I only do manufacturing, so I make a profit. You can buy upgrades. I got this upgrade that was like 300. Oh, no. No, it was not 300,000. I am sorry about that. It was 600-something thousand, I think. I don't even remember. I'm sorry. It was, a, it was a few days ago. I have a terrible memory. It was 591,000, I think. I, I'm terrible. Do not quote me on that either. But it was something around there, that margin. And here, I might as well just buy, supp buy supplies right now. So, when you buy supplies, it doesn't come here immediately. You have to wait, I guess, I'd say, no, I'm not guessing. I'd say roughly maybe 15 minutes. Nope. And around 15 minutes, you... I usually just drive around, do other things, and it comes to your um, bunker automatically. And it, they just start working. But when you buy supplies, it stops it. On a, it just stops. It stops manufacturing and everything. So you make sure that you have lower low supplies. So when you buy it, it's just it's just worth it. It helps it a lot. So probably didn't understand me right there, but I tried my best. So that's the bunker. As you can see, LJT or whatever his name was. I don't know the Morris local guy. So, he just called me. That is for the counterfeit stuff, which is, uh, it's around here somewhere. It's probably not on here because I need to register as a motorcycle club. Give me a second. So, the counterfeit thing, I'm new to it, so I don't know everything about it. It's basically exactly like the bunker. It's, it's just like it, but for counterfeit stuff. There's a little bit differences here and there, but, um... You just retire. It doesn't do anything if you retire. Don't worry. It doesn't do anything at all. And then you go down here. Go to motorcycle club. Start motorcycle club. Just do whatever. That doesn't change anything either. It just lets you change the name. And let's see if it put the thing on here now. There it is. Now it's on here. Um, The counterfeit place. I like it. I, just, I don't know. I just like it because it seems like it's a lot more fast paced. And the supplies for the more for the motorcycle club are way easier to do than the bunker. They are way easier. In the bunker, you have to get a freaking cargo bob and get a tank and bring it over. While there's attack helicopters on you and everything, it's pretty difficult. But that's how you steal supplies. I'd rather just buy them. That's what I do. So you know, that's what I usually do. But uh, while I'm driving here, I'll talk about the bun um, counterfeit place when I get there. Whoopsie daisies. Um, so, 
the things you can do other things than for money because you guys are probably like oh my god you're ranting about the enterprise pack come on can you say something more you know something different about uh you know what you're going to talk about so if you guys seen this chick named Maud or Ma I don't I don't remember her name this old chick that pops up on your phone this old senile old woman she asks you to kill people for her my friend said if you kill people she gives you money I really don't know I haven't done it be I tried doing it it's kinda difficult because you have to look in a whole area to find someone you know like a treasure hunt you have to go in an area to find someone and then you gotta go kill them and then she gives you something I don't know what she gives you but I mean that's something um Simon you can turn in cards for him uh, the arena war that is up right now has two times money and two times XP at the moment which is pretty decent and each game will each round if you win you get I've gotten up to 16,000 that's with double so you can get up to 8,000 past this video if it's if you guys watch it later so I mean that's pretty good I'd say I'd say that's pretty good um you can let me think let's see what are some other things you can do you can do glitches if you watch on YouTube but I'm not really a big fan of glitches but I mean I like them though but I just think of them the cheap way out I like doing things on my own you know like grinding and stuff it just makes me feel better when I get something because it feels like I put the work into it for it um there is definitely heists. You can do heists. Every time you complete a heist that you haven't done before, you get a hundred thousand first time bonus. You get a ton of XP for it. Um, I suggest you should go with friends or something, do heists together. You know, have fun. There's also if you guys if you guys are in a server, not like me, because I'm not in a good server. Go to your phone. You know. You can go here, you can see people doing stuff like this, you know, Martin, there's Lester for setups if you have your own apartment. There's this guy that does things, you know. And there's also people in the chat, like public, that are people that are online that do death matches and stuff, and you know, those help. But I'd probably, I don't know what would be the biggest source of money though. I, I, really, I would probably have to say the races if you're trying to do something. Because the races, they give you, they just give you 20 grand. You can do it in like two minutes. Like seriously. But it's not, it's not necessarily two minutes because, you know, it's, it's only two minutes because the person takes shortcuts. I don't know. Because I tried doing the one that I was talking about, the 42 grand one. I tried doing it normally. And I know you can get it done in two minutes because I've seen on the leaderboards a bunch of people did it in two minutes, whatever. He had three minutes to complete it. I couldn't complete it. So you gotta take shortcuts and stuff. So you could complete it probably under two minutes if you got severely good at it. Like, really good at it. So you can make a lot of money. More than I just said. Like, more than a hundred grand on ten minutes. You, you can make a lot from that. You could, um, you know, kill people in multiplayer for bounties. You could always do that. Rob, you can rob grocery stores. I've gotten a grand out of a few of them. Here, let's, let's rob one right now, actually. Let's see how much I get from this one. Let's see right here. In a rush? Good. I am in a rush. Thanks. You get your money. Give me the money, boy. I heard you already. Jesus Christ. I heard if you shoot around them, it gives you it. Yeah, they go faster if you shoot. If you keep continuously shooting, the um, they go faster. Oh look, almost two grand. Almost two grand. That is that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. And if you go to a different server, you can do the same one. You can just keep going around doing that. I'd say that's pretty good doing that. You know, like I said before, you... Oh, you can also do, um... Lamar. He has missions. Lamar. Something Martinez. I don't remember his name. I forgot his name. 
just remember, I'm still new at the game. Well, I had this on 360, but um, I just got it for PlayStation 4, so it's pretty cool. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. No, I hate the radio. Uh, there we go. Um, what's his name? It's the M and the Z. Oh, you don't have to just rob grocery stores. You can rob all different kinds of tours, stores. No, you can rob gun stores. I don't know anything else. I don't know if you can rob other stores. Uh, where's the M at? This is Lamar? Yes, this is Lamar. He will give you missions, too. He will give you missions. Here it is. Martin Madrazo, not Martinez. He will also give you missions. Um... Bunker series. This is the type of game modes I've done this before. Bunker series, like I, the ones I have done, you can. It's like hide and seek, and you have to try to kill the killer with like a flashlight. I've done that. I've done the one where you do like gun game, you know, like Call of Duty. Those those give you like sixteen thousand in total, but it's but I did it when it was double XP and double money, so it's around eight thousand dollars if you do that, which is pretty good do. But their games last for like 5-10 minutes though. So I mean that's kind of a downer but... I mean you're still having fun though so... I suggest do it with a friend because it... Goes, it goes by a lot faster. Um, races. Races give you quite a bit of money. I know that. Those give you some good dinero. But the main things I say I'm sticking to... Are heists is probably number one. Because... You know, there's that humane raid, I think it's called. It's pretty difficult, but... Um... It gives you, like, a million dollars. Well, no, it gives you 750,000, but... With the difficulty raised a little bit, it can get you up to 1.25 million. Which is amazing. Not, not per person, just, 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 um... Not your cut, just in total. There's that... Um, well actually, here guys, I'll show you, I, I'm sorry, I can't really cut the video since I'm live streaming this, because I thought it might be a little bit easier since I can talk through it, but, uh, see, my supplies just arrived, for the bunker, and I'm not even the CEO anymore, so it, it automatically does it, you don't even have to be the CEO to even go do it, all you have to do is be the CEO to, um, organize it, then you can just get off of that and come back here and go to this. So, I'll go over to the my my business and I'll show you guys what to do. That's that's a pretty cool part. It's like a mission in itself. You can make uh like around eighty thousand dollars doing it. It's pretty good, but it is kind of difficult. I might not succeed in it, but I hope I do. Okay, so this is a counterfeit place where it makes money for you. Oh crap! I ran out of supplies. So. You, it's the same thing. You can either steal supplies or buy supplies. I'm probably just gonna buy supplies though. No, no, I'm not even gonna buy supplies because I'm not making a profit on it. I need to buy an upgrade. But see, stock, supplies, earnings. Do they have the same thing as them though? They do. They do have the same thing. So, in um the bunker in here, they have different places where you can sell to. See, Pacific Rim Finance is seventy thousand. But Enterprise is 105,000. The reason why they're different is because they're in different locations, and the location would mean it was harder to get there. So the farther the location is, which there's only two different places, this one's always going to be more than the top one, will give you a boost of money. I don't know exactly how much. It's probably around uh, 70,000. 50% would be 35,000. Yeah, it's 50%. So, it gives you a 50% boost, which I think is great. And it's the same thing with upgrades. They're a lot more cheaper. They, I just, this is my first time looking at it. It is way cheaper. This one gives you an upgrade to hire more staff. This will speed up your production rate and improve the overall value of your product, which I got in my place, which boosted up 25%. I don't know how much it does here, but if it's 25, then that is an amazing deal because the other one's like almost almost 600 grand a ton supplies are the same or you can steal them uh so 
there's that. Whoopsie daisies. And you know what? I'll do this for you guys. I'll show you that where you can sell them. I guess I'll just sell my supplies. So I'll show you guys how it's done. So when you want to sell your stock, I'll sell it here. Yes, I want to sell my goods. So hopefully it goes down into the city so then it would make it uh, to kill and two birds with one stone. Okay, we're uh, attempting. Care about you, boy. So I can go to my other business. Okay, I have no idea what this is. I've never delivered stuff yet. Okay, this is a okay. This is a different type of mission. So I've done this one before too. So I was with my friend when he did this. You do the same missions when you're um. This is like the same exact type of thing you do when you're with the drugs. You go around to places and you just drop off supplies for the motorcycle club, counterfeit money. And then once you're done with five, as you see in the bottom right, then you're finished and then you get the money that it was worth. Which mine is 105 grand. And you have a timer, which kind of sucks. Oh crap. But I'm not sure about this, but... I have a I have a hypothesis that because I s later times I usually get into um, servers by myself and I've I don't know if this is true or not or if it's just a coincidence but when, every time I've been in a server by myself whenever I'm delivering something just giving you guys tips that remember this is public server only that um. Usually, pe well, people can see your people can see the car on the radar, and when they see your car on the radar, they can just like they can destroy this car and get cash and RP for it. Is this guy following me? Well, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I just dozed off there, but um, give me a second. Hey, get out of here. So, people can see your cash and RP when you're in the car on the map. It shows a global signal. It's like flashing red. But whenever I've delivered supplies on Solo, people, like, an abundance amount of people come after me in cars. Like, people everywhere. People with guns. Like, a car full of people with guns. But on, multi like, on multiplayer, when I'm with people, that doesn't happen. So... Just to be safe, try to get in a server with maybe one of your friends because they won't destroy your car because that's probably why. Because when you're on solo, you have no one to destroy it, so it'd probably be a way big advantage. But try to be with someone when you're in a server so you don't have to get these people because they are so hard. They are so hard to get off you when you're by yourself. It is ridiculous. Because, well... In my issue, I haven't gotten it with this, or the bunker, because I haven't delivered much of the bunker. Well, I have, but I've only done it with the Franks. I've only sold in big amounts. And this one is my first time selling the stock. The other business I'm talking about is a CEO business, when I'm a CEO. Because I have to get cars, I try not to take damage on it. And the less damage I take, the more profit I make. And there's people that chase you when you try to take the t car back to your garage to, s to sell it. So, people come after you then, but, 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 when you deliver a car, when you deliver a car on a multiplayer with people in my lobby, I have never had someone come after me once. As soon as I went into a single, as soon as I went into a public match by myself, I could not deliver one car. It was so hard to do. There was way too many people. So I suggest you go with a friend or someone on here. My gamer tag on here is Raccoonie the Legend, but it's not Legend, it's L E G N D. If you want to friend me, then you know that'd be great. I'll, I'll play with you guys on GTA 5. I'm on PlayStation, I don't have it for Xbox. I'm sorry if you guys got Xbox, but I'll still friend you on Xbox. I got an Xbox, it's Raccoonie 11. Here, I'll tell you, okay, so I'll spell it out for you R A C k o o n e 11 and then r a c k o o n e the legend but the and then l e g n d those are my gamer tags if you guys want to friend me in anything um 
I, I really can't think of any other way to do cars except for glitches, because every time when I try to look up a walkthrough to try to maybe do something, you know? Huh? Deliver the parcel to the property. Oh, I gotta drop it off, okay, before I didn't have to do that. Okay, I was wondering what that meant. Okay, so... Um... There's a lot of glitches on here. Like, I've seen duplication glitches. I've seen, um, money glitches. I've seen heist glitches. I've seen a lot of glitches. I haven't done them myself, because, you know, I said earlier. But, um, if you guys are that kind of person, and if you guys want to make a lot of money, you can do those. Um, but you need a lot of stuff for them, so. I mean, that's just the downside, but. Um. What I would sum up to everything in here, what I would sum it up to, is that you can, um, well first you should join the social club on here, because the social club, you get a free car, get free hairstyles, get a free a bunch of stuff, and you can, the, the car is just amazing, and you can, that can start you off. I, I didn't know that. I had to look more into it. And I'm sorry, I'm stuttering a bunch because I'm just thinking what I'm about to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, wait, let me drop this off real quick. So to sum it up what everything I have, that the best thing you could probably do are heists. I see, my friend, I was with a friend earlier today and he says he used to farm the Lisa job on hard mode because you can get a thing done if you get it done under five minutes you get like a bonus or something he said I was doing it earlier today I don't remember but and he says he just farmed it. it took him like well he said he did a glitch of course but he says before he did the glitch he still farmed the fleece job you know the first job you get because it gives you like 70 grand if you just because it's two people only yeah, it can make quite a bit, but... He said he did a glitch. You guys could probably find it if you guys want to. I'm just recommending it. I don't know if it's still out now. Um... It was when... He said that he did a glitch to where you didn't have to do any setups. You could just do the heist off the bat. I don't know if you guys can do that. I mean, that's... that's I mean, just thinking about it. 70 grand every time you do something, that takes like 10 minutes. Or five minutes, sorry. It could take five minutes to do the whole thing. That is 70 grand plus a bonus minutes. That's pretty good. That's better than the racing, but... Or the um time trial, but... I'm just saying, I still don't know if the glitch is still out there. Uh, There's, you know, there's still businesses and stuff. The, the main thing I would think that would people do is probably the death matches and stuff because when you're doing death matches and stuff it almost seems like time goes by super fast because you have a lot of fun in this game and when usually you guys all know when you have fun time goes by fast you know when you hop on you know Xbox or PlayStation you play it for who knows how long you think you do and then next thing you know, you get up to get something to eat, and it's like two hours later, and you're like, oh my gosh, man, it's already been that long? You know, just in the grind. I bet everybody can relate to me that's played, you know, GTA 5 or any other game that has to do with the grinding. Um, but I'll try to find out more ways. I'll do all my research, I'll try to find out to help you guys, because I, I know how everybody feels when they get into this game. It was so hard to find things because everybody was saying it's glitches now. Everybody likes to do glitches. Everybody likes to do things that... Like, I don't have everything that the thing says to... That you need to make money. You need to have this. You need to have that. Like, I don't have that. So I'm just trying to help you guys making a video that things you don't need. You don't need a car to do a time trial. You don't need a car. Or you don't need certain things... You can have a pistol to do it. Excuse me, to do a death match. You you can use a pistol to rob a store. I mean, it's still something. Um, 
but usually holidays they have events on here so next holiday they'll probably have something up so you guys can do it but you guys should save up once you get enough money you guys should save up for like a like a like I was saying uh, the business the business is like around a million dollars which I know is a lot it really is a lot but that's one of the things I recommend or you should try to level up and get some money and buy an apartment the apartment I have is 200 grand okay 200 grand it didn't take me that long to get it what I'm saying is that not the money that I got with the pack to make two hundred dollar two hundred thousand dollars in total it didn't take me that long it took me a you know just a couple days of me just figuring out the game it took me a little bit but you know that's still pretty good though and when you get the apartment because in apartments like uh they have 10 car garages or whatever i don't know what the minimum is but they have a heist room and you're able to access heists with lester which is pretty cool and with the heist i have prison break right now so i gotta do prison break but the catch is is that you have to pay something to do the heists like there's a heist setup fee not for the fleece of job the fleece of job is free that's why my friend said he grinded it because um i guess it makes you a lot of money if you do that you know loop but what i recommend which i was saying earlier you should get up to a business if you can you should get the because after you get a business you have to get a warehouse and a warehouse the one i bought costs was it 1.5 million dollars which was a lot a million on top of a 1.5 million or you can get the business and then get a garage for uh was it 250,000 I might be wrong on that I think that's the lowest one or 300,000 that you can get for the cargo which is significantly cheaper that one you can also make a lot of money on that's one I want I should have done to make a bigger profit I, I literally should have done that one oh wait what happened oh I gotta park the car here whoops I thought I'd get out there um yeah there's a lot of things you can do here um there are treasure hunts but they don't give you treasure they give you a pistol they give you this pistol which is pretty cool you can do it it's like a little hunt can do that that's pretty cool um I'm trying I'm sorry guys I'm just trying to think of any other way you can do it I need them a lot I'm trying guys I'm trying at the end of the um, after I show you guys after this um, the car the car company thing I'm gonna go through and show you where to go and what to do for the things to get the money so it's good, probably going to be at the end of the video. So if you guys want to skip a little bit to the end of the video. Hopefully there will be a little tutorial on how to get navigate through things. You guys probably already know how to. But I'm still going to go through it anyways. Um, I got one more to go. It's pretty close. So gracefully you do not have to take the car back. You do not. You just get the money there. Which is pretty cool. Badum 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 badum. There we go, a hundred and five thousand dollars. Took me a little bit. Took me, I don't know how many minutes. Maybe like around thirteen. I'm not sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Anyway, I can just steal a car from here. Um. No, shush. Shush. There we go. Oh, there we go. Lester just sent me a setup. So what you see on the left, Lester sent me to buy a facility that's like the Doomsday Heist. I don't really know anything about it. I just basically just know that. It's like the basic knowledge you know about that. I don't really know much, but I know that takes a ton of work. So that's like later in the game. 
I get texts of it all the time, so if you guys get texts and you know, that's up. Um. Oh my, a thousand dollar bounty. Too bad I don't work clay, but oh, jeez, I'm tired. Okay. Nah, I don't care. Okay, so on the mini map, right there. The one that looks like a block with like, I don't know, what is it, like nine squares in the, in the, um, rectangle? That's your business that you can get. There's multiple places, this is just where mine is. You get a free business, a free counterfeit place, you get like a, um, a ton of free cars, a ton of money. You just get a ton of stuff with the Enterprise Pack, I think it's like 20 bucks. I think it's worth it, guys. I guess you guys should try it out. Um, if if you can. So I'm gonna show you guys inside the business. This isn't exactly where you go to do the things you gotta go somewhere else to get your stuff to ship. But this is it. And you know what's amazing here? You can talk to your assistant and you can get free snacks. You'll still keep the weight off. I'm gonna hold on you can to literally get free snacks. snacks you, got on you. you go over there to your desk. You go over here. I'm not gonna do one right now. But, oh wait, I need to, okay. So to do this, you need to be a CEO. So, wow, I have to get out of the chair to do this. So, you go over here, you go over here. Disband MC it doesn't do anything. It's just like you retiring from the CEO and then you go to Secure serve register as CEO Bada bing bada boom CEO you are now CEO of guns and glory you can name your business whatever you want But it can't be inappropriate, which is disappointing. Yeah, there's my gamer tag right there If you guys want to friend me on PlayStation, I don't have that many friends, which is very dis depressing but you know it's my gamer tag so you can either do special vehicles after you get enough of experience in the game oh I did not know I had this I should do these soon did not know I had these these ones give you more money than those ones well not necessarily you have to do it with people so it's split but you do get money so this one this is where you go to source a vehicle to get one you source vehicle you know are you sure whatever I'm not gonna do one at the moment but this is my total earnings from getting from exporting cars. I've exported si I've stolen let's say I steal 6 cars, then I sell 6 cars. I get 504 grand for it, but it depends on the car there's top range, medium range and standard range. Those depend on how much money you get. Um this is like the cargo, the drugs I was talking about. I'll see how much the least one is. Let's see. To 250,000. That's probably the lowest one. Let me just check these ones real quick just for you guys. 360 grand. 400 grand. 318 grand. Yep. Yeah, smallest one's 250 grand. Which is pretty good because the ones I did are quite a bit. So. Yeah. And here we go. I'll show you guys up. So, I will use the helicopter to get there because it's much, much faster. So, let's see. I gotta. I believe I take a very sharp right. Yeah. Nah, boy. You can also get nightclubs, but turn money. That just reminded me, but I have no clue about those, so I cannot help you guys with those. I do not have one, so I do not have any experience making money with one. So I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. I believe it is this way. This is where you do the arena war thing, but I don't think I don't know if it's a pack or not. That you have to buy because I don't know if I got it with the 
enterprise pack or not I'm not too sure but it's really helpful you can do arm wrestling too that's what that symbol on the map is but I don't know if that gives you anything I haven't done that I know you can bet with friends in like mini games maybe that's one of them and then you can get money from that which is a pretty cool Landing. Oh, whoops. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, there we go. Phew. So let's go in here real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. So, if my theory is correct from earlier, my hypotheses, then... Am I still on a server by myself? Yeah, I am. Then there's probably going to be people coming after me. So after you get cars, which I have gotten quite a few of them, you can you go into here. Then you know you go to your laptop. You can get collections, which you can sell for a little bit of a bonus. Yeah, collection bonus. You can get a collection of cars, but here I'm gonna export filter by range. Let's just do like a oh, mid range car. Uh, I believe this one is not used for any collections. I know it's not the top one. Okay, it's not. So let's just export this one right, or yeah, this one. It's mid range. 25 grand, you know. Let's do it. You can put mods on it to make it more. But the max you can do is 100,000 for a top range car. But I'm going to do this one. Just so I can make the most amount of profit. And then you got to edit it. Take things off of it. You know, respray. Let's do just do chrome. Good thing it's free though. Because that would cost a crap ton. Besides the fee you have to pay for the 12 grand. It's probably what covers it. But, you know, it's still make quite a bit. Just put whatever you want on it. That's just what I do. And then you take it to the person's place that you made a contract to. Which it just automatically does. It just shows you where to go. Which helps. Dang, mine's pretty far away. Okay, after the investments we've made. Nah. Hopefully there's not people coming after me, but Yeah, the global signal just went off. You have a little bit less of a time limit here, which makes it a little bit more strict, but... Oh my gosh, I knew it. Oh man. So if you guys see in the bottom right, and the reason why I do not like the people is that it makes your profit go down. Okay, so I guess my thing is right. When you go into a server by yourself, you run into gang members, which is not good. Because they will destroy your car. And do not crash either like I just did. That's really bad. So mine was originally 62 grand. So let's see what it turns out after this. Oh, this is going to suck. It's probably the same person every time. I've went to the, um, I'm pretty sure it's the same person every time. Take a turn here. Sorry, my dad came in. He was talking to someone else in the room, so I just muted my mic. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same person. I go down the same road every single time, so I'm pretty sure it's the same person. Oh no. One time I did it different. One time I did it different. This is like 95% of the other time I'm doing this one. You go to like this big parking area. 
and then you just plant your car and then it's done but it's hard to get them there because one I'm a bad driver I don't know about you guys you guys are probably good drivers but I'm just bad and on top of that there's people that shoot at you so uh, let's go up a here So, oh my, oh no, oh no, it's, oh okay, thank god. Woo! That could have been a bad C. Oh, that's not nice. Hey, this is chrome, it is not a piece of garbage. It is not a poop emoji. Family friendly, family friendly content. So it's went down. If it was at sixty, it went down fourteen thousand. That is not good. That is a really bad drop in money. I've probably, if I can make it in this condition, I probably made like a twenty grand profit. Because when you steal a car, you don't it doesn't cost anything. But the cargo stuff does. The cargo stuff co does cost money. I don't really know how much. I just know it does. This one doesn't, but when you steal a car, it's just like this. There's a um the commission or how much how much damage it does to the vehicle. You take that out of pocket. And then you make a profit on top of that. Like, let's say I get shot up on my car when I'm trying to steal a car. $4,000 of damage. $4,000 come out of my pocket. So then I have 4000 less to make a profit. But, you know. It just depends on, you know, whatever. Just what happens in the game. Yeah, this is the one with the big parking lot. The huge parking lot. You just bring it here. And a guy with keys comes up. Hands you it. You know, just whatevs. Boom. 30% market value loss. That is a quite a bit. Oof. I'm glad I didn't do a bigger car. So I suggest you guys do that multiplier though. So I'm going to wrap it up here. But I, I'm telling you guys. I told you I was going to walk you through some stuff. After this I will wrap it up. I'm sorry guys. I'll make another video soon. But um. Yeah. So. What you guys I suggest is these time trials this one's a minute and 26 seconds it's a minute and 26 seconds so you can do this in a minute uh, it's probably less money than 20 grand I'm guessing just the one I guess right here is 20 grand but these come every week they're different and on holidays I guess you get two times bonuses on them and they just show up all around the map this one's here for this week. These are heists things you can get from Lester. This is like the Doomsday heist thing. Um, all these are ammunitions which have registers which have like two or three in the store. So you can make quite a bit of money off those if you're lucky. All ammunitions. These ones and you know these ones too. Not just the ones with the circles. Everyone has them. They are stores. Like grocery stores that have stuff, you know, I robbed one earlier, almost got two grand, which is a pretty good shoplifting. Well, no, not really shoplifting, just stealing. Even though shoplifting is stealing, but that's like taking the item. You know what I meant. I don't know about clothing stores. I don't know if you can rob those. I haven't done it before, so I really don't know. Bunker series are the ones I was talking about, like gun game. There's underground stuff in the bunkers. You shoot each other. You just kill each other. It's just a death match. I've gotten $16,000 so you can get up to eight. Even if you lose, you get like two or four grand. No, no. You get 8000 if you lose. So you get 4000 You get 4000 even if you lose. Because there's like rounds of three. Each round, you see how much money you can get. So you can make up to $12,000 if you lose. Or $24,000 if you win. That is a quite a bit of money right there. But there are long-term matches, so I suggest you guys be with someone, you know. 
like friends or whatever. Uh, you can do this guy, Martin Madrazo. He gives you missions here and here. And there is Lamar that also gives you missions. I might be forgetting something that I mentioned earlier. I'm sorry. I just... It's, uh... Let's see what time it is, guys. It is 12.04, so I am kind of tired. And I just, uh, I'm not thinking straight because, you know, it's late. And I'm sorry if I missed anything. If I have, if you could, could you put in the comments, remind that person that I put it there. Just, you know, just comment if, you know, support me. Um, I'll be making a video soon about RP, hopefully. If I can get enough resources on it, I'll make an RP video. I don't know if I can. Everything I mentioned gives you RP because you run away from the cops, basically, if you rob a store or whatever. So you get RP if you get your stars off. If you do missions, you get RP. You get RP, basically, everything. You get money. I don't know if you get money for robbing stores or XP, but you get money with or XP with almost anything that when you rob stuff. So, I mean, you get RP there, but I'll, I'll make a video soon if I can, if I have enough resources. I'll make another money video soon if when I get better at the game so I can show you guys in depth of what to do. Instead of doing just a layout like this video to help you guys, I'll try to do more in depth. I'll, um, if you guys comment in this video, if you guys make want me to do on something, I'll try if, it, if I can. Like, I, I'm limited on resources, you know, like money and stuff, so... If there's something I can do, I'll try to help you guys out. Because, I mean, I feel you guys, it's hard. That's why I'm making this video. And um, I'm just going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys have a good, whatever it is, it's morning. I hope you have a good... <laughs> cha -ching. If you guys have a, if you guys are in the morning, I hope you guys have a good morning. If it's in the midday, I hope you guys have a midday. If it's in the afternoon, I hope you guys have a ha good afternoon. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Bada bing, bada boom.